serviceberry, juneberry, amelanchier, shadblow, shadbush. It's got a lot of names. This is an absolutely fantastic tree. Makes tons of flowers in the spring every year. Let this car go by. We're in downtown Ithaca right here. And the, a lot of cities have been planting these because they thrive just about anywhere. They'll grow out of compacted, heavy soils. They'll grow uh, full drought conditions. They can take it. They'll take the salt. They'll take whatever is wrong with the soil and they'll just thrive. And, and then they make all these berries. And the birds will eat them. Kids should eat them. I eat tons of them. They taste like a really good blueberry. Of course, some trees taste better than others. This particular one is really, really good. It fits nicely under these power lines. It only gets about uh, 10, 12 feet tall. It's fruiting heavily here in the sun, but it could also fruit pretty nicely in the shade. The berries are ripe as soon as they start to get red, but they get even more tasty when they're purple. Service berries are not hard to identify by the fruits. It's kind of almost like an apple on the bottom. And they are in the rose family. They're closely related to apples. Some of them get a lot of the same diseases that apples get. So this one appears to be quite disease resistant. A great native plant for birds, for people, for the world.